Hello and welcome to another update video about Gala. Let's take a look at the updated chart. If there is anything to update um, or not, as a quick, uh, quick reminder, this is not a clearly bullish chart. Anybody who's been following me for a while knows that the decline from the all time high into the 2023 low is a clear three way, a five wave move, not a three wave move. It's a five wave move. And yeah, I know there are charts with a longer history, but that doesn't change the fact that this is a five wave move down and that we've seen only a three wave corrective rally into the March highs. So that's bearish, okay? Um, or at least not clearly bullish. Now, I still, as long as we are holding the 1.9 cent level, which is the key support level of this current or for this current pullback, and as long as we are in an overall bullish market, I at least entertain the idea that we could start to rally in wave C. So let me just move the resistance area over here. This is standard resistance for a wave two corrective rally because the assumption would have to be that the low in uh, well last year, October low, that this was a wave one and that we're now moving up in a wave two corrective rally. Now the question is, was the March high, um, oh, it's actually not, was it the March? Yeah, is, is the March high, is that already the wave two? and we're now heading down in a wave three and we go to new bear market lows, or are we going to see a more extended wave two as per the yellow scenario here that leads the price higher in an extended A, B, C structure? Because the A wave can be a three wave move. The B wave would also be a corrective pullback. And as long as we're holding 1.9 cents, at least I think this is a reasonable scenario. At the same time, we have currently absolutely no evidence that the C wave to the upside has started. So I'd wait for a trigger. Okay, I'd wait for a trigger or a signal. We want to talk about what those signals could be. Um, please be aware that if the, and I could actually show that in yellow as well. Um, please be aware that if the initial rally in an ABC structure is also just a three wave move, it is absolutely possible that the B wave is deep. So the 1.9 cent level, it is not an invalidation point. I would like to see the price not break below it, but I can also tell you that a break below 1.9 cents will not invalidate the bullish idea. Um, at the same time, again, the focus needs to be on lower in the short term until we see a first small reaction, something, right? Um, I don't know, it could just be a, a decent green candle, but it ideally has the right structure, which means a five wave move up. Um, at the moment, there is absolutely no evidence. But then if the price turns around here and we, we rally to the upside, then the target for the C wave to the upside would point towards 20 cents. Now, the lower we go, the lower that target will be. The lower we go in the B wave, the lower the C wave target. So quick reminder that wave two is expected to be an A, B, C structure. In an alternative scenario, the top is already in, which is why it's important to be on the side of caution. Going to the four hour chart, you can see that the market is just dropping and dropping, but we're now in that target zone that I wanted to see between 3.3 cents and 2.6 cents. Um, next opportunity for a bounce could, could occur here around the 2.6, 2.7 cent mark. Below that, 2.3 cents. And okay, what would be an initial signal for a low in place? Well, I mean, the earliest one, of course, not so reliable then, the earliest one would possibly be a break above this initial trend line. So that's currently pushing the price down. There is a lot of downside pressure there. Any break then above the upper boundary line of the corrective price channel would, um, that, that would be even, you know, that would be even, um, a, a, let's say, a stronger signal. But yeah, short term and then a more substantial signal. And in addition to all of that, it would be best if we get a five wave structure. So if we get this wave one as a five wave move, that's best evidence. Break above the corrective price channel in five waves. If we then get a corrective pullback in a wave two, which holds a higher low, even better, maybe as a retest from above. But that's all speculative. For now, you know what you need to watch for. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.